Deep in sea grape groves along the coast of Southeast Florida lives a brightly colored and almost never seen tropical butterfly, often considered among some of the rarest butterflies in all of North America, the amethyst hair streak. Finding this species, from what I've heard, is like finding a needle in a haystack. They are not only tiny in size, but also super elusive and shy, often staying all the way up in the canopies of sea grape trees too far away from the ground to be seen. Today though, I am putting this challenge to the test and seeing if we could find one of America's rarest butterflies. All right, children, right here we're at this patch right here of a plant that happens to be both a possible host plant and a favorite nectaring plant of the butterfly species we are out here looking for. Uh, I already see a lot of things moving around. I feel like we have a good shot at finding one of these rare butterflies. This right here behind me on that sea grape leaf, just kind of sitting there, is not what we're out here looking for, but another really cool species of hair streak that you could find here in South Florida, and also not one that I see very often. It is the fulvous hair streak, um, which is a lot more common than the species we're out here looking for. A lot less strikingly patterned, but it's still a really pretty species that loves to nectar on sea grape, as you can see here. This species might just kind of look brown and white spotted from below, uh, but that's actually because it's tugging its wings in. What you don't see is at the top of those wings is a bright metallic reddish kind of orange red color, which is where the name Fulvus hair streak comes from. This is a hair streak, just like the species we're out here looking for. So it does have those tail streamers at the end of those hind wings that they'll move around. And once we find what we're out here looking for, we'll actually learn exactly what that is for. But you can see this one is moving those around just like your average hair streak would. But this is not a very common species. I don't see this one too often. It is an endangered species. Uh, but it is much more common than the one we're out here looking for because its host plant is very common all throughout Florida. It is, they are known to use Brazilian pepper. So let's leave this fulvous hair streak alone and see what else we could find. Through hours of scanning these sea grape leaves for any little bits of movement, we kept finding fulvous hair streak after fulvous hair streak after fulvous hair streak. Our chances of finding the much rarer amethyst hair streak were looking slimmer and slimmer until Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this. Right behind me on the sea grape leaf, perched perfectly in the sunlight, is one of the rarest butterflies in all of North America, and probably the rarest butterfly here in South Florida, the amethyst hair streak. This is an incredible species, an unmistakable species that very little people have ever had the privilege of seeing their lives. Just having one a few feet away from me, just in perfect lighting is just, it doesn't even feel real like this is just crazy but enough enjoying this feeling right now and let's learn all about this incredible butterfly the amethyst hair streak is sitting on one of the leaves of the sea grape right behind me and this is just an absolutely unmistakable species of butterfly the underside is this bright green kind of yellowish lime green coloration with the back of the hind wings being like this kind of reddish brown almost purplish color with a little bit of silver mixed in but where the fun comes is the top of this butterfly is a striking metallic purplish blue coloration and this species rarely ever opens up its wings usually when they land like most other hair streak species they will have their wings closed to where you only see the patterning on the bottom however to thermoregulate if it's really hot, sometimes they will sit and open their wings up and that will expose that absolutely gorgeous namesake metallic amethyst coloration. This amethyst coloration is significantly brighter in males than in females, though it is pretty bright in both sexes. On the males though, the top is absolutely strikingly metallic and it covers the entirety of the top side of both the fore and hind wings. Whereas on females, the metallic amethyst coloration is concentrated towards the center of the wings, whereas the rest of the wings, besides the little amethyst spots, are kind of a dull grayish bluish color. Even with the sexual dimorphism though, both the male and female are absolutely unmistakable. There's only one other species in South Florida that I guess you can kind of mistake for this, and it would be the silver banded hair streak, which I have yet to see. Even still, the patterning of silver coloration is very different on the bottom side of the wings and it also completely lacks that kind of purplish reddish brown spot at the ends of the hind wings. Because this species is so rare, not very much is known about this species' biology. 
very little people in general have ever even seen this species. So you can imagine how little people have even researched this species to know exactly what its host plants are, when and how it breeds, where its caterpillars live, what parts of the plants that they use as hosts they eat. But there is a little bit that we do know about this very rare species. The flight season of the adults is very specific, with the adults only flying around usually in April and May, and they usually prefer areas closer to the coast here in Southeast Florida. They've been seen in the Keys all the way up to around Martin County. So they have a very limited range here in Florida. And for a long time, it wasn't even known exactly what plants these used as host plants, or the plants that a specific species of butterfly or moth uses to lay their eggs on where the caterpillars eat. This species has been reared on buttonwood, and is also thought to be able to use black mangrove as a host plant. However, up until recently, it wasn't known that their favorite nectaring plant, sea grape, is also a possible host plant for this species. Recently, someone who I know from my naturalist actually photographed an amethyst hair streak laying eggs into the flower buds of a sea grape. Most hair streaks, unusually for butterflies, actually lay their eggs inside the flower buds or sea pods or other small bulbous structures that grow in plants rather than the leaves themselves. However, besides laying their eggs inside the flower buds of sea grape, sea grape is also this species' by far favorite nectaring plant. In fact, most times that people, including me, have seen amethyst hair streaks have been on this very kind of plant behind me right here, and they absolutely love drinking the flower nectar out of sea grape flowers. I don't know if you could tell from the video itself, but this species is absolutely tiny. It is maybe the size of like my thumbnail, maybe even my index fingernail. This thing is absolutely tiny and is much smaller than the fulvous hair streaks that we saw earlier. Now remember how earlier I was talking about that hair streaks have these tail streamers at the end of their hind wings that they use and they move around. Now the reason that they do that is actually because those tail streamers at the end of the wings look like an extra pair of antennae and oftentimes hair streaks especially the two species that we have just seen here, the amethyst and bulbous hair streak, have dark markings towards the end of their hind wings, close to those tail streamers. In fact, that is to look like they have a face, a second head, at the end of their abdomen, because their wings, the back of their wings, are a lot less vulnerable and life-threatening if a predator were to bite a little bit of those off than the head would be. So, faking the predators out into thinking that they're attacking their head, and then biting off a piece of the wing and then the butterfly just flies off almost completely unscathed, works almost perfectly well. In fact, so well that a lot of the hair streaks I see of many different hair streak species are lacking a little bit of one of their hind wings. This was so much fun learning all about this incredible species, the amethyst hair streak. But unfortunately, it's time to go and uh, let this beautiful butterfly go back to what it was doing on this sea grape. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here, where I find another one of Florida's tiniest but also most beautiful butterfly species, the Little Metal Mark. Enjoy!